Developing a learning mindset and mastering self-learning at work are critical to developing a management career. You know, want to become a doctor, lawyer or accountant and you have to go through formal training. Want to become a manager and you're left to figure it out largely by yourself. Few managers get any formal training in what is necessary to lead teams successfully. This is why the best managers develop a growth mindset and master self-learning at work. To become good at managing others, you have to be good at self-learning. It is that simple. First, what is a growth mindset or a learning mindset? A growth mindset is a way of thinking, a mental discipline, a habit and a reflex to recognise and find opportunities for learning from every situation, you know, from successes and from failures. People with a learning mindset believe, at the core of their being, that when they work to learn and improve, they will keep getting better. People with a growth mindset don't see obstacles, they see challenges. They don't see failure, they see a chance to get closer to success. People with a growth mindset don't feel stuck where they are, they believe they can progress. They just haven't achieved their goal yet. Individuals with a learning mindset believe their talents can be developed through hard work, good approaches and input from others. Growing and learning takes effort, sometimes a lot of effort. Now when we start off learning something new, you won't be very good at it. To get better, you have to get through the disappointments, the falling short of expectations and the mistakes and pick yourself up and try again. Keep working at this new area and you will get better. People with a growth mindset know that working long enough and hard enough will make you very good at this new area. Developing a growth mindset or learning mindset is possible for anyone. Next, why developing a learning mindset is so critically important to progress your management career. Very few managers get any formal training on how to manage teams. There is an unsaid assumption that you will learn from your boss and those managers around you. Without pushing at developing a learning mindset and getting good at self-learning at work, the journey to get good as a manager is too hard for many. You know, there are lots of opportunities to stop putting the effort in to learn and accept where you are. In a manager's role, you will have to get comfortable with disappointment, with making mistakes, with people disagreeing with you and a whole host of other challenges. Without a growth mindset, these knocks are hard for any ego to take. A learning mindset helps you build many key attributes and skills that will make you a much better manager. Here are five important ones a learning mindset helps you develop. Firstly, it facilitates self-learning at work. You are constantly trying to learn from everything you can. Secondly, it fosters resilience. You will make mistakes, be out of your comfort zone, receive tough feedback, etc. You'll get through each of these and know that you will do so the next time it happens as well. Keep repeating this cycle and you become and more and more resilient. Third, you look forward to stepping outside your comfort zone because doing so gives you opportunity to learn and improve. Fourth, you increase your adaptability and flexibility because you learn lots of different ways and routes to achieving your goals. And fifth, it fosters commitment. You need to be committed to the process of learning and improving, otherwise you would give up part of the way through. Each of these attributes and skills helps you drive your own improvement and success at managing others. With a growth mindset, you'll keep pushing yourself to get better, where others with less of a learning mindset give up or slow down. To become a good manager or better, you have to work at developing a learning mindset. Next, I'll cover five tips for how to develop a learning mindset. My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources, and courses teaching you how to be a great manager and build high-performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below, which you will find useful, so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Create the habit and make the time to learn from every work situation you can. Developing a mindset for successfully learning starts with your attitude. You know, how can you cultivate your motivation to increase the pace of and opportunities for your learning? 
you need to be motivated and committed. Without either, you will simply not put in the effort that is needed to learn, improve and get good. It is not an easy journey in my view, which is why so many drop out part the way towards their dreams. Here are five tips to help you build a learning mindset and habit. Firstly, set yourself goals and work towards reaching them. Keep focusing on the progress you are making. Progress and achievements are great fuel to keep yourself motivated and looking to learn. Focus on how far you've come rather than how far you still have to go. Keep thinking about the next step and how you're going to achieve that step. Secondly, to build a learning mindset, learn to accept failure. See failure as another opportunity to learn and take another step closer to your goals. I doubt you can find any successful person that has not had a lot of failures on the road to becoming successful. They become successful because they don't let failure and disappointment stop them trying, working and learning. On screen and in the description is a link to a short video about Michael Jordan and his journey to sporting greatness which makes this point brilliantly. Failures are a brilliant source of learning and vital steps to success. Third, for a growth mindset, cultivate persistence and determination. You will experience setbacks, hard to hear feedback, failures and disappointments. If you don't, you are not out of your comfort zone and probably not really learning. When you experience setbacks, don't dwell on what you did wrong. Focus on what you're going to do differently the next time and make the next time happen quickly. Keep changing what you do until you achieve success. Going through this cycle builds your persistence, determination and resilience. Keep at it. Fourth, make the time to get to know yourself. What are your ambitions, your fears, your insecurities, your strengths, your values, your hot buttons, etc.? The better you know yourself and value yourself, the easier you'll find it to pick yourself up and try again. Get to know yourself and how you react in different situations. Fifth, to get better at developing a learning mindset, seek good quality specific feedback from every source you can. Ask colleagues, ask your boss, find out what your team members think. Keep asking for feedback and ask the person giving you feedback to make it as specific and therefore as useful as possible. With feedback you can learn quicker and you'll find it a lot easier to get to success. Build a strong learning mindset and you'll be happier and more successful regardless of what you want out of life or work. To be a successful manager or leader, developing a learning mindset is a vital part of the job description. So in summary, becoming a good manager or leader is a tough journey. To improve, most of us have to learn the hard way by self-learning through our mistakes and the mistakes of managers and leaders around us. When you are lucky enough to find a manager who takes the time to teach you how to manage well, grab that opportunity with both hands and learn as much as you can. Learning best practice management skills makes a huge difference to the speed at which you learn. You start by using and practicing what you know works rather than having to go through a ton of mistakes before finding what works. Visit us at enhance.training and take a look at our Management Skills Accelerator course to learn management best practices right now. Above all, work on keeping yourself open to learning, cultivating a growth mindset and keep yourself progressing towards being a brilliant manager and leader. If you have any questions on how the best managers master self-learning at work, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.